I feel it. It's beginning to blow. Here in Kandrakar, the rumble of life is a wind that moves the eternal clouds. Studies, family, friendship. At times, the clouds pass each other. Other times, they collide and stir frightening storms. But precisely in the center of the storm, there is always something. A moment in which everything is peaceful. Everything is clear. One moment. One fact. Sometimes ugly. Other times marvelous. Even magical in certain cases. Maybe only because we give it this meaning. Even Will, Irma, Tarani, and Cornelia, and Helen have experienced this moment. It happened when the Guardians were still far apart, divided. Which, the year before, when five normal girls discovered they were special. Wake up, wake up, wake up! The sun shines here at Heatherfield! Huh? At Heather what? Oh, uh, <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Fountain Hill citizens. This is your radio station. Oh, there. I was about to say. And as your mayor and the only radio fountain DJ, I wish you the best. Good morning, morning Will. Will. Morning, Mom. Don't turn it off. I want to hear the news about Heather. What's it? Heatherfield. Today, there's some kind of twinning with that city. I see you got up early. You didn't sleep much either. Yes, well, your first day of school is important. I'd say it's irrelevant. Just like every year. You said you couldn't wait to see your classmates again. And then, won't your friend be waiting for you? What's her name again? Lara. Why are you changing the subject? You... Yes, well, Simultech should be giving me some good news today. The promotion? Wow! Don't be too enthusiastic. I won't believe it until I've seen it written on paper. But they will give it to you, Mom. I already see a barrage of frogs on the horizon. Frogs on my new clothes. Frogs on my new shoes. How fortunate. My daughter thinks of frogs and not money. That's what you say now. But, uh, crit. Yes, hello. Hey, go for us. No. Will isn't here. Yes, we're fine on our own. You might not believe it, but it's true. Dad? Get dressed, and we're off. It's getting late. He... he knows. He must leave us alone. I don't know how he got our number, but... Would you like to listen to some music? Not to mention Heatherfield's extraordinary claim of... It's an Heatherfield again? Isn't there another radio station in the city? Well, it doesn't matter since we're already here. Don't forget what I said. I'll see you this afternoon and... All right. Lara, Lara! Will's coming. Smile, girls. Make her believe there's nothing wrong. I'm keeping an eye on you, Pratt said. The bell rang five minutes ago. I was waiting for Will Vandom, Professor Pibbleton. Don't put her in the middle. You need to be tactful given her... Situation? Situation? What's she babbling about? Listen to her. Miss Pibbleton's pet. She even pretends not to understand. Excuse me, Lara, but what did you say? Me? Nothing, Will. I was just thinking. Her parents' divorce has gone to her head. It's, it's not possible. This is Laura's voice. But she's not speaking. It was as if I was reading her mind. Oh, poor Will. If only she knew what we were saying about her moments ago. Jenny? I don't feel sorry for her. My parents are also divorced. So what? Louise! This year, I'll choose a desk far from her. Definitely. No, I can't believe even Laura thinks of me that way. I can't stand her. I never could. No. I better avoid speaking to her. It's embarrassing to be with someone like that. No! Please don't let her sit next to me. Please don't let her sit next to me. No! No! And you screamed out loud? Not only that, Mommy. I burst out crying. Like a fountain. 
So why don't you want to tell me the reason behind your quarrel with them? Um, maybe I was just tired. But I'm okay now. Well, do you like my gift then? You've always dreamed of having a cell phone. Yep, it'd be great to be able to send text messages to my friends. The only problem is now I don't have any friends left. Oh, Mom. I've been talking so much about myself, I forgot about your promotion. What happened? I'm a manager, and I don't know what else. The title is hard to pronounce, but the salary is excellent. Won't you answer it? No. I already know who it is. You know, Will, with my new job, I could ask for a transfer. You want to live in another city? But where? Come visit Heatherfield. You'll be enchanted by it. Heatherfield. Home is where the heart is.